high. So what you will hear in this video is um, kind of an attempt I'm making to clarify myself, to give you some context. Growing up, I always had a lot of trouble with academics and a lot of emotional trouble. And it wreaked havoc on my life. I ended up dropping out of school, things were strained at home, etc. And I always felt defective because I didn't know anybody else that was struggling quite like me. It seemed to me that I was a special kind of a mess. But many years later when I found help, I was told that I had just had an anxiety disorder all this time. And that there were ways in which to cope and to change myself so that I'm no longer that way. Now, since then I've gotten much better with the help of therapy, exercise, meditation, philosophy, um, good people, dogs, but uh, sometimes on a bad day I will end up feeling like I'm, I've gotten nowhere and, and I'll never make any progress and I'll never change. So here's what I imagine Kabir might say as his thesis on fear. Now, why fear? I believe that anxiety is just a, the little brother of fear. So, enjoy. And also, if uh, you're listening to this on headphones or speakers with stereo separation that has a left and a right, I will be pleased. This is why she left you. You look like a bag of bones. Why would anyone want you? You're not like others. You are broken beyond repair. They're all gonna find out what a fraud you are. You know you're gonna let them all down. See? I told you. You messed it up like you always do. You're no good. And you'll never be any good. Quicksand. I sometimes experience what I can only describe as a quicksand of the mind. My thoughts take a downward plunge. The strength fades from my limbs. If I struggle, I only sink faster. I'm left I'm staring at the back of my eyelids. I'm defenseless. I'm numb. And the only respite is to just give in. Just give in. And let the torrents just take you. Sure, you, you lose the fight, but at least you're not fighting anymore. Greetings! What? Who is that? Greetings, my friend. I'm Kabir of Kashi, renowned poet and mystic, here to liberate you from your suffering. What? I'm sorry, I think there's some misunderstanding. This was supposed to be a self-reflective podcast about overcoming fear. I don't think I want characters in this thing. Well, that's too bad, for you called me here. I'm sorry, I think there's some misunderstanding. I didn't call anybody. That song you were just humming. Don't tell me you don't know the words to it. I... I actually don't know the words to it. I just thought it's a song you sing when you're sad. Oh, well it says... Dukhda amara re haan hansa bhai vhenchi vhenchi lena Aiso koi guru gyani amane maragya batao It's a song that calls out to the saints. It says... This is too much pain for me to bear. Will some guru gyani show me the way? And I, Kabir, I am guru of the gyanis. And I'm here to venchi venchi, baby. Ugh, what does that even mean? Venchna, 
It means it means it means to share. The song says share in my pain. It's too much for just one person. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, man. I didn't know singing it would summon you like some kind of genie. Well, to be honest, it doesn't. But uh, I was just looking over your drafts and they were a bit. Ugh. All right, all right, you can help me. So go on then, I guess. Go on, fix my suffering. Nah. What do you mean? I can I can rewind and show you the place where you explicitly said you were gonna. Yeah, I know what I said. I can't help you though. Why? Because you're not suffering. What? Of course I'm suffering. Did you hear all the things I was saying? No, not suffering. Kabir, I know what I'm going through. Okay, it's been really hard. No, not suffering. Maybe you'll get it if I put it this way. You're not suffering. Of course I'm the one that's suffering. Do you see anyone else here? What are you talking about? Okay, fine. Tell me this. Who do you think you are? Firstly, rude. Secondly, I'm me, Kabir. What kind of question is this? Okay, and what is this me you seem to be so fond of? Me? You know, my body, my brain, my thoughts, my feelings, my memories. My life, all of me. Is that really all of you? Yeah, I think so. You sure? Yeah. Well, I have some really good news, but to give it to you, I'm going to have to give you some bad news first. Yeah? Are you ready? Okay, help me. Okay, here goes. So everything you think you know is Maya. Your body is really fragile Your mind is fake as hell Jhutra sa lekha lakhaya ram 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 What a fake story you've shown me Ram Jhutra sa lekha lakhaya ram 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 Kachi ho कौन घड़ेली थाली काया हो जी 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 काची हो कौन घड़ेली थाली माया हो जी 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 ओके दैट वाज दैट वाज रियली नाइस बट what do you mean by Maya? I've, I keep hearing this word, like everyone uses it all the time, but what does it really mean? Maya! You don't know what Maya is. Maya is illusion. They're the things that keep you, that deceive you and keep you trapped in your suffering. It's all the things you think you know about, about reality, about, about, about yourself. All your mental machinations are all Maya. It's your mental universe. Okay. And, but why do you say it's all jhutra? I mean, are you saying my subjective reality is fake? Hmm. Have you heard, have I told you the story of the five blind men and the elephant? No, Kabir, we just met ten minutes ago. I don't think you've told me that story. Oh, it's a great story. So a long, long time ago, there were a bunch of blind fellows in a village, yeah? And they don't know what an elephant is. It was back in the day, you know, they didn't have the internet like we do now. What do you mean, like we do now? You have internet in the afterlife? Well, of course. I mean, all the clouds and angels and singing is nice. But darling, where would we go for mm, the gentleman's entertainment, you know, without the internet? Jesus, even in the afterlife? Skip that, please. You're talking about an elephant. Yes, yes. So someone tells these blind boys that there's an elephant in town and they're so excited. So they go into town, they say, where's the elephant? And someone says, there. So they go over to there and they group around for this thing. And man, it is massive. So one guy finds himself against its big round belly. One guy barely manages to get his hands around one of its legs. One guy grabs its trunk, another grabs its tail. Two of them climb on top of the poor thing. So the guy at its belly goes, 
Guys, isn't this the biggest thing you've ever felt? It's like a big fleshy boulder. And the guy at its tail says, What are you talking about? It's really quite skinny and wiry. It's like a brush. And the guy at its leg says, What are you both saying? It's wide, quite like a pillar. And the guy at its ear says, You're a bunch of idiots. It's flat and leathery, kind of like a palm leaf. Would you say? Come down here, you little limp. I'll flatten you like a palm leaf. Oh yeah? You know that big fleshy boulder? You can put it in you know where. And you know, hilarity in shoes and all that. So if we look at what happened, it's understandable why each of them thinks the elephant is the way they do, right? Their experience have, has given them that knowledge. But they all also completely miss the point, don't they? The elephant is bigger than any one of them can feel about for. And we do the exact same thing. We grow blindly at reality. Our mind, it's a, it's a fake news factory. It's a Maya-making machine. And that's what it does all day. It just spits out script after script after script after script. And we just take it lying down. So depending on the script du jour, we feel either like the king of the world or a complete piece of crap. Ah. मन लो भी मन लालची हाँ हे जी मन लो भी मन लालची मन चंचल और मन चोर The mind is greedy, it's selfish, it's a crafty little thief मन के मते न चालिए मन पलक पलक में और so don't walk the ways of the mind, man. The mind changes every second. If they gave out Grammys for flip-flop and not hip-hop, the mind would win every single time. Hmm. It's understandable that the mind thinks these things, you know. Based on its limited view of the world, it's trying to give us its best estimation of what's happening. But for us to give it the reins by actually believing that we're the king of the world or that we're a piece of shit is to be like the fellows from the story, completely blind to the nature of the beast. But, Kabir, you see, you're talking as if I'm separate from my mind, yeah? I mean, my mind is me. Didn't Descartes say, I think, therefore I am? I mean, my thoughts are a big part of me. If I can't trust my thoughts, then what can I trust? You're saying I'm doomed because you're saying I can't trust myself. I can't live like that. Ah, you see, herein lies your problem. The mind isn't you. Why would you think that? The mind is a part of you. Just like how your arm or your leg is a part of you. It can malfunction just like you can fall and twist your ankle. When you twist your ankle, you cry out, I'm twisted, I'm twisted. No, the issue is the is in the anchor. It's not in you. Hello. I guess. And same thing with the mind. Fear is like a twisting of the mind. Yeah. When does when when does fear arise in the mind? When the mind wants to protect one of its lies that it tells itself. When one of these lies get threatened, it'll twist upon itself, desperate to shield that lie, and that's what we experience as fear. I don't know, Mom. This all seems a little bit dramatic. I mean, I get that sometimes it misfires a bit, but but it seems excessive to call it a lie, Kabir. I guess it depends on what you call a lie. I say, if you misrepresent reality in any way, it's a lie. Anything that simplifies reality doesn't do justice to the complexity of reality. And that, to me, is, is a lie. Okay, that's a bit stringent. But but look at this, okay? I don't lie, yeah? I, I mean, I don't think I'm, 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 I'm a particularly untruthful person, but I experience so much of fear. How do you explain that? Ah, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you may not think you lie, but I'm pretty sure you have plenty of delusions and beliefs about yourself. Like what? Earlier on, you were saying, I look like a bag of bones. Who could possibly want me? Boo-hoo. Yeah? Yeah. So, 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 so what happened there? I don't know. I was just, I was, I, I looked in the mirror and I noticed that I look really gaunt, you know? 
my hair looks really scraggly, so I was just just kind of pissed at myself. Well, <laughs> but it's not like you're you're hardly any Ryan Gosling, so so what's the big deal? I just don't want to look like that. Ah, see, here the delusional belief is coming to surface. Somewhere deep inside, you believe that you look fetching, and you want to keep it because. Believing that makes you feel loved, makes you feel desired. And when you see evidence for the opposite, you know it's so threatening for that belief that the mind reacts with anger. Do you see where I'm going? But Kabir, if, if I don't listen to my mind, what do I listen to? You know, if, if I'm not my mind, then what the hell am I? <laughs> very good, very good. It's getting to you now, it should. It means you're ready for this. Okay, tell me this. Mm, have you ever tried watching your thoughts? Watching my thoughts? No, I don't think I have. I don't think I've ever tried. Well, try it. Okay. Did you do it? I'm trying. Just give me a minute. Where did you do it? Jesus, just give me some time. You know what? This is quite a lot to take in. Why don't we just take a break for today? I'll think about all that you've said. And I'll do this homework. I'll try to observe my thoughts. And you can drop by same time tomorrow. We can we can continue where we left off. Oh yes, I should get going myself. I'm late for a tango date. Teresa will be mad. Teresa? Mother Teresa? Gods, no. I'm not a cradle snatcher. I'm meeting Teresa de Avila. She's a 16th century Spanish saint and, as of the afterlife, tanguera extraordinaire. That's a relief, I guess? I don't actually know. Anyway, gotta go. Tomorrow, same time, same place. Can't wait. Ciao. Buenos dias, my dear swagat. Mm-hmm. Tango went well, I presume. Well, of course it did. Tango is like... Um, it's like pizza, my dear lad. Even when it's bad, it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Okay, spare me the details. So, I, I tried what you said. You did? Yeah. So, what did you notice? Well, it was it was interesting. Thoughts just came up in my mind out of nowhere. They come and then they immediately go away. Sometimes I get caught up in one, but the moment I snap out of it, I can watch it, you know? And it's not just thoughts. It's like everything, you know, images, sounds, emotions, all kinds of things, they just show up and then... And then they fade away. Very good, very good. So now we can get to the meat of the matter. So tell me this, Swagat. If thoughts, sounds, and emotions all come like uninvited guests and they leaf of their own accord. Yeah, are you with me? So if thoughts, sounds, and emotions all come like uninvited guests and they leave of their own accord who's watching it all happen hey ek dala ek dal do panchi baitha ek guru ek chela एक डाल दो पंछी बैठा एक गुरु एक चेला चेला फल रस चुन चुन खाया ओ चेला फल रस चुन चुन खाया गुरु निरंतर खेला गुरु निरंतर खेला हो और गुरु निरंतर खेला सो वन बर्ड इज फ्लिटिंग अबाउट टेस्टिंग द फ्रूट्स ऑफ लाइफ and the other birds just watching disembodied aware which one is you i guess 
That's the real me. The guru is me. I'm the watcher. Is this why they always say the real guru is inside you? Mm hmm. Wow. You're not saying anything. I don't know what to say. This this changes everything. Why? What does this change? I mean, if this is true, you know that I'm I'm the guru. It's you. It's like you're saying that I've been watching a movie all my life. And it's a movie of my life. You know, it's had its ups, it's had its downs, and they've always been happening to me. But I've never noticed that something's been watching this movie and that's the real me. Because if that's me, then I can... I can just relax. You know, I can just let things be. I don't have to be worried about what's happening to Swagat. I mean, shit. I can't even, I can't even refer to Swagat as me anymore. He's just some guy I happen to be looking in on. Oh, so that's happening, huh? So what do I call you? Swagat's awareness? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you now instead of Swagat. Can you hear me? Swagat's awareness? Clap your hands if you can hear me. Um, do you really want me to clap my hands? Yeah, do it. Okay. Why'd you clap Swagat's hands? I asked you to clap your hands. Um, I guess I don't have hands. Okay, and why are you talking with Swagat's voice? It feels so odd to hear Swagat say things on your behalf. I don't have a voice, Kabir. I'm just, I'm just awareness. So you're some kind of disembodied awareness floating around, looking at things from Swagat's perspective. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds bloody boring, man. I don't know. I think before you think you go off thinking of Swagat as some ball and chain weighing you down, you should know that it's his voice that's letting you talk right now. And it's his hearing and his mind that heard me and created the thoughts that then allowed you to realize you even exist. So no Swagat, no Swagat's awareness. In fact, your desire to identify with the Guru I would say is born of aversion to Swagat's imperfect life. And and what is that? That's Maya, dude. I mean, it's really quite fascinating. It took all of two minutes since you realized that you're not your thoughts for then a thought to arise and convince you it was true so thoroughly that you're ready to change your entire identity because of it. There's no need for such mental acrobatics, man. Mm. Hey! एक डाल दो पंछी बैठा एक गुरु एक चेला ओ एक डाल दो पंछी बैठा एक गुरु एक चेला चेला फल रस चुन चुन खाया हाँ चेला अरे चेला फल रस चुन चुन खाया गुरु निरंतर खेला गुरु निरंतर खेला हो और गुरु निरंतर खेला सो वन बर्ड इज फ्लिटिंग अबाउट टेस्टिंग द फ्रूट्स ऑफ लाइफ एंड द अदर बर्ड्स जस्ट वॉचिंग दिस एम्बॉडीड अवेयर विच वन इज यू वेल आई गेस इफ द ओनली वे आई कैन थिंक मूव और डू एनी थिंग इज थ्रू स्वागत दिन आई गेस हम Awareness and I'm um, Swagat. Yeah, the bird that's eating the fruit is not your enemy, right? The mind is not your enemy. The mind is both the lock and is the key, right? You must work with it. Ah, hey, ji man ke har har hai. जी मन के हारे हार है मन मन के जीते जीत 
मन ही मिलावे राम से और मन ही करे फजीत <laughs> फजीत what does that mean you know fajit is that a is that a very common word you know sometimes i wish you just written in english you just made it so easy for people like me to understand you acha why don't you just ask <clears throat> you know your mind can take your places or oh, your mind can turn round and cheat you you know your mind can take you places or oh, your mind can turn round and cheat you your mind can make you one with wrong your mind can make you one with wrong your mind can make you one with wrong or oh, your mind Man, it'll fajit ya. Yeah. Ah! Sorry, I got a bit carried away. <laughs> it's Kabir. It's not a translation if you use the same words. What does fajit mean? Ah, man, fajit is just such a nice word. It's it's hard to find something with the same flavor in English. So what does it mean? fazihat paida karna you know is is to so discord you know is to start a brawl or a fight ah like 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 our blind buddies from earlier they got real fajited huh <laughs> yeah okay so um you tell me this let's say i'm on board okay with this whole mind is trying to mess with you conspiracy theory um how do you keep the mind you know clear how do you make it honest you know how do you how do you how do you be in control of your mind rather than being led by it well you just have to do it you know you just you just make the decision to be in the driver's seat and not get jerked around just listen to this ha you hi bol samjhave tu to kai man samjhave ha you hi man samjhave this is how This is how you teach the mind. Have you have you have you ever been to the villages, Swagat? Mm, maybe a couple of times. Have you ever seen those women that 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 carry water for for, for long distances on pots on their heads? Yeah, maybe. The song is about them. अरे जो पनी हारी पानी चले वो बेड़ो भरने घर लावे वो बेड़ो भरने घर लावे The woman's got to walk for a long distance with water on her head in a pot but she knows she's not thinking about it all the time She's swaying and she's walking and when she meets her friends she stops by for quick gossip. Hey, hale tole baat banave. Hale tole baat banave. But where's her awareness? Par surat bewado mein laave ho sun sayar kya ne? जीवा इज मर जीवा ही हु डाइज सो ही कैन लिव अगेन पर्ल डाइवर जो मर जीवा हो वे समुद्र का डुबकी वा में लगावे और डुबकी वा में लगावे कहे कबीर सुनो भाई साधो कबीर सुनो मेरे साधो 
ਵਹੀਰਾ ਲਾਲ ਬਿਨ ਲਾਵੇ ਹੋ ਸੰਸਾਰ ਗਿਆਨੀ ਸਮਝਾਵੇ ਤੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਕਹੀਂ ਮਨ ਸਮਝਾਵੇ ਔਰ ਯੂੰ ਹੀ ਮਨ ਸਮਝਾਵੇ ਡਾਈਸ ਐਂਡ ਲਿਵਸ ਹਾਂ ਯਾ ਏਵਰੀ ਟਾਈਮ ਹੀ ਪਲੰਜਸ ਇਨਟੂ ਦ ਡੈਪਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਸੀ ਹੀ ਲੀਵਸ ਬਿਹਾਈਂਡ ਏਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਹੀ ਨੋਸ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਡਸਨਟ ਨੋ ਇਫ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਮੇਕ ਇਟ ਬੈਕ every time he goes fishing he's he's flirting with a complete negation of his existence again and again willingly he stares mortal terror in the face and for this bravery he's rewarded with a rare pearl this is the marjiva that's very poetic but it's not just poetry you must become a marjiva you too must plumb the depths of your own reality in similar ways wherever in our life we find pain what do we do we run away from it we push it away if we're not able to push it away we replace it with something else we we lean on our addictions we try to drown out the pain with momentary pleasure but that's not the way of the marjiva the marjiva never looks away he is ready to be consumed by his terror he is ready to die and hence he is so alive marjiva when the marjiva experiences deep dark terror he knows that there is a pearl hidden no doubt about it so he walks right into the terror no flinching and why is he able to do this you should be you should know this by now why is why is the marjiva special why is he able to do this because he has the guru with him he has awareness exactly things can hurt your body they can even hurt your heart but there's a part of you that no tragedy can touch that's always safe you can only understand it truly let it soak into your life by observing the truth again and again in every moment you have to become familiar with terror in all of its shapes all of its forms colors sensations every bit of terror is an opportunity to relearn how you think about fear right if you if you're someone who experiences a lot of fear that's great because you can watch the terror seep into your body and your mind and every time you can see that it cannot touch the water cannot touch the guru even in a violent storm in raging torrents even in quicksand it's safe you're safe there was never any real danger to begin with for that's 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 so scary i don't know it's it's so hard kabir i mean these days every morning just just seems like such a struggle just do i do i have to be on my guard at all times at every waking moment yes of course you must be on your guard at all times no doubt about it but you do it long enough and it'll become your nature you'll just become a marjiva listen to this hare jin kho jaan tin paaya ha jin kho jaan tin paaya gehre paani peet those who searched for it found it but they found it in in deep waters jin kho jaate na paaya gehre paani peet main bori do ban dare rahe kinare baith and this bauri this foolish girl she sits on the shore afraid to drown so you can you can spend your entire life sitting on the shore you know 
or you can be the Manjiva. Tala is lock and kunji is key. Ghat mahi kunji ram. Ghat mahi tala ram. Ghat mahi kunji ram. Ghat mahi tala ram. Ghat mahi kunji ram. Ghat mahi kholan hara ram ram ram. घट माही खोलन हारा राम 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 काची हो कौन घड़ेली थारी काया हो काची हो कौन घड़ेली थारी माया जो नटड़ी वा चढ़े भरत पिक नटड़ो ढोल बजावे और नटड़ो ढोल बजावे और जो नटड़ी वा चढ़े भरत पिक नटड़ो ढोल बजावे और नटड़ो ढोल बजावे और ऊपर चढ़कर मंगल गावे पर चढ़कर मंगल गावे पर सूरत बरत पहलावे हो सुन सायर ज्ञानी हो यू ही मन समझावे तुत कहीं मन समझावे हो यू ही मन समझावे तुत कहीं मन समझावे और यू ही मन Hmm. Okay, now that's enough singing and mulling about for one day. Now you go wash your face, and you get up and you get on with it. Hmm. Thanks. Huh? Thanks for this. Eh, hey, any time. Not much to do when you're dead. Will I see you again? Yeah, I'm around. Okay, now off with you. Go. Um, I think I think you're the one that needs to go. All right. Yeah. All right. See ya. Bye. <laughs>